There's so much news and I genuinely do not know where to start. I suppose the first thing I'll cover is Habu's looking for more questions to answer about Digimon Survive and Digimon games in general. Uh, I'll leave this uh, survey link down in the description for anyone that's interested in that. If you want to have a look, click in there. So moving on from that, we have the new DIM cards. We have SP1 and the Ryudamon DIM. Uh, these are going to be Digimon Ghost Game DIMs, hence the anime uh, artwork on there and not the original Bandai artwork. They look really cool. I really like sp ones design. I'm interested to see how he's going to fit into the legendary arms. I don't know what he's going to be at all, if I'm honest. But I'm very interested. Um, so we come down here. Uh, this, yeah, this team card is actually based around legendary arms. Uh, that's, that's what it's been uh, pushed as. So... First thing to note is we have Espimon, we have his next one, which is Hoba Espimon. Uh, that's pretty much where Espimon's line ends. Uh, it's really strange they haven't given him an ultimate and mega. All the other legendary arms Digimon have uh, a mega and an ultimate and all that stuff on these, so it's just really weird. Unless it just ties into the story and that's why we're only getting that much so far. We have Black Gatamon from Digimon Ghost Game. Uh, really cool. I love that design. I can't wait to see a little bit more about that Digimon. Uh, one Digimon I really like that I'm after seeing on here is Manticoremon. Manticoremon always looks so sick to me. I really like that Digimon as well. Uh, we have Ragnalordmon. Ragnalordmon, we'll get back to him in a second. But yeah, we have Digitamamon and then the Devitamamon. Hopefully we see some Devitamamon in Digimon Ghost Game. Uh, I really like the Digitamamon story that had that time. It looks really cool. So I want to see a little bit more about him because he, he was just very interesting interesting character to me um over here we have ryudamon's dim and ryudamon's dim is focused on zubamon and ryudamon's uh, evolutions but we also have some more familiar faces from digimon ghost game over here we've got some dokugumon so some dokugumon stuff over here some musumon all the way up to zambamon zambamon one of them digimon that i just i love because of the struggle that i had trying to fight him in digimon world 2003 that that thing was nuts uh, it was, I remember getting to that forest and it's no, it, it was next to impossible. Uh, back to Ragnar Lordmon though. Ragnar Lordmon is a Jogress Digimon. So what we could do is we can have the two of these Digimon and a Jogress into Ragnar Lordmon. I don't know which ones will do it, but we should be able to do that. Moving on from there, we had two trailers drop for the Digimon BE, the new vital bracelet, which I'll go over in a second. But the first trailer is more so focused on Digimon, while the second trailer is more so focused on an anime, different anime series. For the first one here, we have Gammon, and then as it goes, we see Agumon and Pulsemon join them. Uh, then there's a lot of logos for uh, Digimon Ghost Game, Digimon Adventure, and then Digital Monster, the original Digital Monster. So that was a really cool trailer. So next one over here then is we have this guy. I have no clue who he is. I'm not a weeb. I don't watch anime much. I watch the odd couple of them, read the odd manga, but as far as following anime, me no it's, it's just not a thing that i do uh which is a shame because it's actually some really good stuff if anyone knows any animes uh recommend them in the comments and i'll try and give them a look so you have the vital race of b this is the new version of the vb uh this one from the looks of it just the way the trailers and all are going it feels like they're targeting toward a more older audience now i don't know about that because there's something else that contradicts it later on i'll go through uh but first off it looks a lot slimmer it's a lot plainer and I know for that because because of that it feels like they're trying to like aim it at an older audience in my eyes anyways. Uh, the straps are the exact same. I don't like these straps. I really wish they'd just like invest in better straps. Uh, they look awful. One thing I will say is that I love that Digimon is kind of like the core marketing thing for the Vital Bracelet. Even though they still have characters and stuff, Digimon is still the one that gets pushed to the forefront. And it'll be interesting to see if that stays the case when we have this new one. Uh, being that it's getting some anime characters in there as well. I really hope that Digimon stays the core focus of this device. Uh, have some more Be Active. It Like this one is very, is very much pushing... Uh, the whole stay active side of the Vital Bracelet is something that was missing in the original one and in the Digivice V. So I'm hoping in this one that it is a proper fitness tractor, tracker. It's got better heart rate sensors. It's got better, like, more exercises. It will just, just make it more of a fitness tracker. That's all I want. It doesn't have to count my calories. Just let me track my fitness, my exercise and all that. That's all I want. So basically this means we can splash around. Uh, you can you can get slightly wet. But if you go put it underwater, it's going to break. Uh, so I know Karen wanted to do some tests on this swimming with it um i don't think he should do them anymore <laughs> probably not um he's gonna wreck his, his device so next we have the pvp app uh so this is getting a normal mention um this is 
been stuff that we've been kind of they've been drip feeding this stuff to us there the last maybe a week or two so pvp app is coming out uh they gave us a trailer a trailer over here so this new trailer for the uh digimon real-time pvp is teasing off like it's 2v2 so that's gonna be interesting to see on top of that they spoke about it up here uh training doing like exercise and stuff it changes the abilities of your digimon like their stats and stuff they have another trailer kind of showcasing that over here and it just looks really cool like this could help with the mega and make those lower tier digimon a lot stronger so they can compete with stuff like uh gallantmon crimson mode the only problem is gallantmon crimson mode is going to be even more powerful now so i wonder if there's a way that like is there a cap or is there no cap i really hope that there isn't a cap because then you could use pretty much any digimon you want uh but i don't know we'll see how this goes anyways it's just interesting to see how they, how they want to handle this um down here then, like it says, uh, there's some Demon Slayer stuff. They're just showing off all the different characters coming to it. Uh, Demon Slayer, I wish I remember that dude's name. He's, he's such a cool character. Uh, My Hero Academia. I don't know much about My Hero Academia. I've never watched it, but I've heard about it. Uh, and then this one up here. I have no clue who or what these are. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Screw it. I'm sure someone's very happy to see these anyways. I mean, me, I'm more so focused on a Digimon site anyways. Then we have some colors over here. We see we've got red, orange, some grays, blues, some really cool colors here. The dim cards as well is like people have been pointing out the dim cards. The dim cards are very different. Um, I kind of like them. I don't know. Some people really prefer the older ones. I kind of like these. Now I do miss. It doesn't look like they have the thing. They just have the name of whatever is whatever dim card it is on there. Uh, but I kind of miss the little symbol. I mean, if I can't tell if that's clear space or not, but if that's just like plain space i'm surely they could just add a little symbol but yeah for the most part it looks like they're gonna be marked with be maybe there's something different on these dim cards that doesn't work with the digivice v or vb that's gonna be interesting to find out about as well um are they backwards compatible will it be able to take the other ones i assume it would uh it'd be weird if it wouldn't but if these don't work on a vb or a digivice v is also gonna be very interesting even more interesting how is the digimon vital hero going to to come across like when it, when that's released over here is that gonna be completely like obsolete when it gets here is that gonna be a pointless device to have once the, once this comes out i don't know we'll have to wait and see on that one as well but uh then we have this this is uh just i, I think it was uh what's it with the will post of this and it was just like little bits of information about the thing the one thing i really want to point out is uh first off actually they do have the size of the strap uh 14 centimeters 21 centimeters i can't help the large strap or the small strap looking at eight years old and over i'm assuming it's a small strap that's what i'm taking from this anyways i was hoping it was a large strap but that was because all of the market and stuff that we've seen up to like now is literally just showing all adults on this is, they haven't really shown kids doing using this stuff like they have with the original uh vb stuff with the original trailers where they had them running around like with virtual digimon uh kicking ass there but i don't know uh it's it's one of them things you're just gonna have to wait there's been no pre-orders from what i can see of where to actually get it but we'll wait and see um oh yeah actually it was fandermon sent this over my server actually as well um my discord server uh but yeah fandermon sent this uh, it's like a 25th anniversary version of the BE that's going to be coming out. Um, it looks really cool. Can't wait to see it. I assume it's just going to be, you know, a dim card that comes with a special dim card with the Digimon from these devices on there. That would be absolutely awesome. It's something I'd love to see. Uh, we got the Agamon and Betamon. Betamon on a dim card. Finally. Oh, my God. That would actually be sick. Do you know what? I actually genuinely can't wait for this now. Um, yeah, do you know what? I don't care. I don't care. I gotta, I gotta leave it at that. Um, if you're interested in seeing more of me, I'm gonna be over on Twitch. Uh, maybe later on today, if you want to stick around and check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. And I'll talk to you again. Uh, like, subscribe, all that good shit. See you again. Bye bye.